With billions of different games on Steam, there's sure to be something for everyone. Unless it is Half-Life 3. And also, Steam is the home to millions of free games, but sadly, most of them are garbage. Trash! The truly outstanding ones are usually already quite popular. In this series, I strive to discover lesser-known yet excellent free games on Steam. Landfall Archives is a game that lets you play with Landfall's dirty laundry. It's a collection of 23 game prototypes that never saw the light of day until now. Some of the games are not that good. Others have incredibly fun ideas and gameplay, and many of them have insane potential. But they all have the landfall charm and humor that you know and love. Whether you want to fight zombies, drive trucks, or simulate life, you'll find something to enjoy in the landfall archives. It is completely free, so you have nothing to lose except your sanity. When you first look at a racer, you might say, What the hell is even that? It looks like it came out from a first grader's coloring book. But don't be fooled by the look of the game. The gameplay is so soul-sucking that graphics will be the least of your worries. After playing it a couple of minutes, I came to this stage and I saw it. The mother paper plane. Off the record, I've played thousands of hours of League of Legends, Valorant, and Fallout 4, so I am used to toxicity, but I've never encountered something this toxic in a video game. I won't prolong the review, but you have to go and see for yourself. If you like dark atmospheres, eerie ambiance, jump scares, and creatures from the deepest of hell chasing after you, while at the same time desiring a good story, then you can read my life story, or you can play Cry of Fear. The title is pretty self-explanatory. You will cry, then you will fear, or the other way around. Cry of Fear tells the average Swedish man's life in Stockholm. Well, the graphics aren't its strongest point because it was originally a Half-Life 1 mod. But the atmosphere and overall gameplay and the story are absolutely gorgeous. The small indie team could easily charge this game for 15 bucks, but they dropped it for free to make you scared of looking at your phone. Overall, if you haven't played this game yet, you are missing out. When I saw Combat Master for the first time, I thought it was a cheap knockoff of Call of Duty. But I was wrong. This game doesn't take itself too seriously, and neither should you. Say goodbye to cool-down timers and hello to endless sprinting, jumping, and sliding like a hyperactive kangaroo. It's so fast-paced that you might even catch a glimpse of your own grenade slapping you in the face. And the best part is that it has the advantages of being a mobile port. So it is under 2 gigabytes and can even work on a potato. Red Hot Vengeance is a game that will make you feel like John Wick, but with more blood and less dogs. It is a twin-stick shooter that similarly uses ideas like Hotline Miami and lets you unleash your inner hitman on the people who betrayed you. It has a dark and violent storyline with hand-drawn cutscenes. The gameplay is fast-paced and challenging, and the shooting mechanic feels polished and rewarding. Overall, for a free game, it is very well made and actually enjoyable. Omega Strikers is a game that asks the question, what if League of Legends was a soccer game? And the answer is, it would be a lot more fun. Omega Strikers is a 3v3 foot brawler that lets you pick from a bunch of wacky characters, each with their own abilities, and kick the ball around on various maps. The developers really did a great job on the gameplay loop, but the downside is there's no unranked MMR, which means you can end up in a very bad team or face someone who is very experienced. Another problem is that your teammates might rage quit, go AFK, or just keep passing the ball to the enemy instead of to you. So, like in every team-based game, there are some problems. But overall, it is a pretty good game, so you might want to give it a try. I've talked about Holocure in my last video, but it's so good it deserves a spot on this list. Basically, Holocure is a game similar to Vampire Survivors, but with more wafus and memes. If you know how addictive the gameplay loop of Vampire Survivors is, Holocure uses the same formula and adds interesting ideas on top of that. And unlike Vampire Survivors, it is completely free. There are over 50 different characters, a variety of maps, and two game modes. Gameplay loop is fantastic and power-ups are well designed. Overall, this is a perfectly made fan project that will cure your boredom and anime hunger. When you open up The Unturned for the first time, you might think two things. The graphics look like they were made in paint, or this is Minecraft with guns. 
But even with these silly allegations, <laughs> Unturned turned out pretty well. But there is more to this game that makes it one of the most played survival games on Steam. Sure, the size is relatively low and it doesn't require a NASA PC, but these features doesn't explain the massive popularity. But unlike Minecraft, Unturned was always free, and you could play with your friends very easily since you can run it even on a piece of paper. Oh. The gameplay of Unturned is simple yet addictive. You can explore different maps, scavenge for resources, craft weapons and items, build bases and vehicles, and fight against zombies and other players. You can also customize your character with various clothes and accessories. You can also join or create servers with different rules and settings, which is one of the best features with the modding community. You can join servers that have very interesting modes. Unturned is a game that doesn't take itself too seriously. It may not have the most realistic graphics or physics, but it has a lot of heart and creativity. And with Unturned 2 on the horizon, it might be a good time to return to the game or start playing it for the first time. Splitgate is a game that combines the best of two worlds, shooting and portals. It's like Halo meets Portal, but with more guns and less cake. Splitgate is pure fun from head to toe. It's the kind of game that not only entertains you, but also makes you feel smarter as you dive deeper into its mind-bending mechanics. It's like your brain unlocks hidden pathways and possibilities, constantly seeking that next creative move to outwit your opponents and teabag them interdimensional. So if you're seeking a game that not only provides endless hours of enjoyment, but also boosts your cognitive skills, look no further than Splitgate. I can't believe how Microworks is not more popular than it is right now. It is very well made and so much fun. It is actually using the same formula as the legendary Team Fortress 2 mode called TF2 Wear. There are more than 100 mini-games, and you are competing against 16 people in a match. The purpose is simple. Every mini-game gives you points, and if you want to win the match, you have to get the highest score. The mini-games are wicked and unpredictable, from trivia questions that will make you doubt everything you learned in school to obstacle courses that will make you wish you had better reflexes. But overall, every match is different, unique, and fun. So if you want to play a fun game with your friends or just want to have fun solo, Microworks will surely deliver it. And this is it, folks. Thank you for watching. If you have any free game suggestions, drop them in the comments. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching again and I'll see you in the next one.